The National Identity Management Commission, NIMC, has made a recent update on how to change your NIN date of birth. And it doesn't matter if you use a plastic ID card or the, the NIN slip. What we are talking about right now is they have changed how you change your date of birth in their system or database. So now we take it step by step as we open this information as recorded by the Naira metrics. Yeah, we are going to to read it every line and every word of it so that we get accurate information in all this of this. This was published nine hours ago from when I am making this video. Yeah, this is for you to know that I am current to bring you updates about NIN. So whenever you watch a video of mine about NIN, always get back because this is Nigeria and those things are updated from time to time. Yeah, so always check out my new videos about NIN. Now it says, the National Identity Management Commission, NIMC, has said that Nigerians applying to change their date of birth on the National Identification Number, NIN, database will now be required to provide an electronic civil registration and vital statistics system, ECRVS certificate, from the National Population Commission. You see that, right? So before you start going to change your date of birth, now among the requirements is a certificate from the National Population Commission and where you can get this is from... So you can get this certificate from the NPC office or you check any local government around you and ask or if the NIMC office is closer, you check there and ask them. And now it reads further, the commission stated this in new guidelines for date of birth change it is released on sunday that's via its x handle that's twitter handle in addition to the certificate nimc said copies of other valid documents such as identification and application letter for modification will now be addressed to the dg ceo nimc if you now want to change your nin date of birth what you'll be needing is the a certificate which you will get from npc other id card or valid documents like the application letter you see this right it says such as identification and application letter for modification that is the thing you'll be taking along to the nimc office if you have any other id card like this um this one now is mandatory this national population commission then get any other id card you may have maybe like a voter's card or the your birth certificate or any other your bvn printout license international passport whichever of them it is and then an application letter yeah you also need to write a letter now that this is you you are applying to change your date of birth on your nin now it says before now only an affidavit and payment of 15,000 naira are required for the modification of age and other modifications on NIN system. Like you saw my previous video of how to change your NIN, which your NIN date of birth, which you have to pay via remita, you pay 15k and then go to court and swear affidavit. You see that, right? So as at today, the Sunday. pattern of changing your NIN date of birth has changed it's no longer a matter of you simply going to online and paying fifteen thousand naira or paying in the bank and then go to where affidavit debit and come and change it no you now require a different form of identity which is the npc certificate any other certificate and then an application letter you get that right then this it's for that read according to the commission with the new guidelines, date of birth modification can only be done once in a lifetime and only at NIMC enrollment centers. So this time around, forget about trying to do it elsewhere. You get, you don't need affidavit anymore. And if you change it this time, you never change it again. You get that once in a lifetime, forever. If you so, change once, even if you make any other mistake, you can never change it again and then you know the document now and it has to be only in nimc enrollment center now forget about this bank is doing it this network office is doing it this local government is doing it this business center is doing it simply look for the nimc 
enrollment office yeah each each state or local government has a place where nimc government office is built go direct to the nimc office don't look for the subsidiaries so that you'll be sure you are getting the right result now it further reads it warned that its licensed agents are not allowed to do date of birth modification and other forms of modification it's just important that you are reading this news by yourself so that you don't see it like this youtuber is just telling us this thing but i did it here it worked and then maybe after a year or two you come and say that what they did for you it wasn't successful they will ask you to go for modification which is something you should have just gone straight to the office and done so none of these offices wherever they are none of them is allowed to modify date of birth simply get straight to the nimc enrollment center that is the head office the main office of nimc it is in every state wherever it is simply trace it go there and do it once don't go to networks don't go to shops don't go to any subsidiary don't go to any other office or bank that are licensed they only got licensed from the same nimc office which you are supposed to go to so go directly there and then do the change of name just when you get there even if you've not written the application form you can go with a plain sheet or you ask them for it but it's advisable that you go with one then you write application you know you write a letter to the to the ceo nimc then the particular state you are then as the address then you write your own address after then you write that of where you are sending it to that as you know is 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 a, a formal letter you get write your address write the nimc office address and then write the title change of date of birth and then give them in the body of the letter explain to them what you want to change from what to what from which date of birth to which date of birth now and then you simply give them what they ask in the nimc office i know why i am emphasizing this i don't want you to after several months you come back to say i did this is not working you have to follow the right procedure now it's further read applicants express concerns now it says meanwhile some nigerians seeking to modify their date of birth on the nin database have expressed concern that the new guideline would further extend the delay in getting the modification done at NIMC. And it further reads, there have also been allegations of extortions no, and, and intentional delays at the NIMC centers, of course. However, the new Director General Engineer Abisoye Koka Odusote, sorry if I didn't pronounce that well, said she was working to end all forms of unethical practices within the commission. She also recently announced that the commission has cleared over 2.5 million backlog of modifications to NIN. The ECRVS now President Bola Tinobu last month launched the ECRVS of the NPC, a platform that digitalizes all civil documentation such as birth and still birth registrations, birth attestation, adoption, marriage notification, divorce notification, migration notification, and death. In According to the chairman of the NPC, Nasi Rukwara, the ECRVS was part of the Nigeria's way of complying with the resolutions of African Ministers' Conference held in 2022 and scaling up the automated process in Nigeria. He added that the system provides a digital certificate in all cases, an accessible verification platform to registered organizations, and has a central management system, that's the dashboard, that depicts and analyzes correlated civil registrations into vital statistics for proper decision making. The chairman said that the process marked a complete departure from traditional paper-based recording of vital events to, to a state-of-the-art digital solution that conforms to international best practices. He added that the AC RVS system would revolutionize how vital events were recorded, 
tracked and analyzed in the country. So you see where this is coming from. This means that all the registrations, some of which are done in different places, probably doesn't get into the database well and the recording is not so accurate. That's why you have issues where you go registering for your NIN after you go for SIM registration or whatever. They will tell you again that it is not valid, that you should go back to NIMC office for modification. You so, see that, right? So this is it. Now you, you have actually heard it directly. And now let's see what some people like us, your colleagues are saying about this and know if they are saying your mind. You can comment below if you have anything relating to this so we can also spread it. It's a great development. That is from Ishak Usman on 25th December. He's saying it's a great development and ways forward for data harmonizing. With such development, Nigerian is gradually moving forward to digitalize country and it will also help the government for national planning and now the Collins you said the NIMC might never see the light then Tochi Wogu said let us wait and see how this works the major problem now is that we have returned to those days when getting enrolled for NIN was difficult and exorbitant. The DG is saying she wants to end extortion at NIMC, but her actions are fueling extortion. If you visit NIMC enrollment centers around, the cost of enrollment before now has increased even though she said her mission is to end extortion. So if you went to, I just want to react to this particular comment. If you want to change your NIN date of birth recently after this change or if you want to go after going kindly come back to this channel the name of this channel is Ovampa O-V-A-M-P-A -A. so kindly come to YouTube search Ovampa look for this particular video and kindly comment what your experience is and if you have experienced any change kindly comment let us know the reality because we always want to give accurate updates here now before that goes on to describe, large crowds are now mark of of those centers. Yeah, this this is actually real because we have about one NIMC office in one local government. Some in about three local government, there is only one one NIMC office. So the crowding is will definitely be certain. Now the DG should kindly conclude the revitalization of NIMC front-end partners so as to bring enrollment centers close to the people and bring down the cost of enrollment. The number of enrollment centers presently cannot meet the demand. It simply works according to the law of demand and supply. And now to this, I will also add that it is somehow true because the the, the people, the crowd there in the office is so much and there's tendency that it will be higher because when you have something to do for the day and you feel you have the money and you, you can bribe your way, it is easy in Nigeria currently to bribe your way into getting what you want. So if there is a possibility, yeah, there is definitely a possibility of people doing it in a valid way to all the people that have license from the NIMC it actually is possible because they are actually they they actually should have the same database and dashboard where they are managing all these things yeah if if the banks individual banks can single handedly get an app where everyone in the country has one in his or her phone to to, to go into transacting and all of that and the bank in their back end still has all the details to provide even after several years I think the, the Nigerian government can actually do better. So let me know your, your thoughts about this. Comment below. Okay, I'm bringing you more updates of everything that relates to NIN. And now if you have any particular challenge or questions you would like to ask about NIN, comment below and don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel and now share this video.